best way to teach kids science is to present it in a way that appeals to them. Here at the Aquatarium, you can even get the scoop on poop. Well, we're very excited about this show. This is Grossology, the impolite science of the human body. It's very popular for all ages. Tell me about a couple of the grosser exhibits. <laughs> well, if you're a scientist, you don't think any of it's really gross, but um, we get some funny reactions to the giant drop of mucus coming out of the nose of Nigel knows it all behind me, the big guy with a big faucet. I think it's a little gross in many people's mind to climb on a wall of skin and uh, grab onto bruises and zits as your hand holds and foot holds. <laughs> this doesn't happen to everyone, but it does to some. I think that's the grossest thing. It's not? Yeah. What's gross about it? That it keeps on dripping out. Stuff the animals. Animals. What do you think about all this? I love it. It's a great way for them to be involved with the museum and hands-on experience and we have lots of kids so them getting grossed out is pretty cool because usually they gross me out so so this is pretty cool. What'd you think of that? That was really fun. Did it sound Funny? authentic? Yes. The Grossology Show, of course, includes a lesson on poop. Wouldn't be complete without it, so we are teaching kids about tracking animals today. And we're telling them that you don't have to just always find footprints, that you can also use the scat that the animals leave behind as a clue to what animals have been there and to paint a bigger picture of what animals live in your neighborhood. How are the kids reacting? They love it. We put poop on the uh, schedule and they all turn out. Thursday's Telegram and Gazette, or log on to www.